big video. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? How's it going? And if you're coming back, what's up? How's it going? It's very good to see you again. You see what happens when you subscribe to my channel? You get an extra greeting at the beginning of every single video. So press the subscribe button for an extra greeting. Folks! We've got we've got a great video for you today. I'm here with my good 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 buddy boy Dean Hebsher. He's my buddy. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna watch a fucking certain video today. It's got to do with love, you know, finding love. It's tough, dude. It's hard out there for a, a pimp. <laughs> <laughs> Dean's definitely the best person to talk to you about this because you know he's had a total of one relationship in his <laughs> life. And how long have you been alive? Uh, I've been alive for 23 years, and I've had one relationship, and uh, it went great. And you could tell because it's not happening anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it went great. It went, and it went great. <laughs> Past tense. So we're going to watch a certain uh, type of video today. I guess you could call it a dating show. It is. It's a modern version of, you know, dating game Ma shows that like, would happen back in the day. And now it's on YouTube. And it seems to be a YouTube series. Digital, Digital age. age. This, is, uh, this is from the good old folks at Seventeen Magazine. So... Naturally, some fucking twenty-year-olds are gonna are gonna watch it and make fun of it. They're gonna let us know what love is. Yeah, Seventeen magazine, where I go for fucking love. I'll use Tinder. I'm fucking. I'm just Seventeen mag, dude. Nah, I want to go to Shoppers Drug Mart. Pick up the latest issue of Seventeen magazine. I need some love. So this video is called. Well, this series, I guess, is called. It's called Bestie Picks Bay. You'll Top be, notch. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, that's okay. content. That sounds like if someone was making a parody of like a current dating show yeah. it would be called bestie picks bay yeah i don't know um, it, it sounds like a it sounds like a running sketch on like amy schumer's <laughs> sketch yeah. show on comedy central yeah yeah it's like now back to bestie picks bay and everyone goes well this is a joke obviously it's some fucking editor being like so fucking bay is bestie squad pizza fam we're gonna have fucking <laughs> we're gonna have kids do a dating show fucking squad bay let's fuck fuck you <laughs> and then it goes and it happens they're in a boardroom and the guy's like so you guys know i love kids right and they're like uh no, start right. the sentence <laughs> I'm like, sorry, sorry anyway. <laughs> We're getting off the rails. I guess we should start the fucking video. Um, so this is... I got my fucking bestie here, dude. And we're gonna watch... And I got my bae. <laughs> Let's watch uh, Bestie Picks Bay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Prince Charming to me is probably extroverted, um, really fun dates, um, really kind, and loves animals. I'm an animal person. He's an animal person? That's He's part dog. <laughs> <laughs> I really an animal want, person? <laughs> I really want half dog, half man. You know like the Animorphs books when oh, they like change into animals? He's a centaur? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm looking for someone who's really, really um, looking to have some fun. Probably someone tall, because she's kind of <laughs> short. Probably someone tall, because my sister's short as shit, and it's, she's really insecure about it. Hang on, stop filming. Can you fucking not? <laughs> <laughs> as soon as the cameras turn off, they're like, fuck, I can't. This is why you have a fucking boyfriend. <laughs> I'm not worried my sister is going to like get rid of like my one true love. Um, I have confidence in her, and I think she, like, if she gets like the vibe, he's a great guy, and he's the sweater budget on this video. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you really balled at an Abercrombie. Huh? Yeah, really. All right, are you ready to pick my dream guy? Totally. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude. The director was just like, "Okay, guys, can we get like one like one like line to like tie the one, intro like, to genuine, the One like genuine kind of like yeah. let's show how much you're excited and you know show how much you love each other, kind of you know your sisters, you got each other's backs. You ready to find my bae? Yeah. Ooh, oh my god. <laughs> They are so cute. Cue trap music. Yeah. Teens. <laughs> Yo, who we got in the fucking sound department for this? They hired fucking Metro Boomin to, yeah. to score this. Kids like trap music, right? Yeah. All right, good. Cause I was going to play Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Jonathan. I am 19 years old. Okay. You ask me how much I love John. How much do you love John? I love John a ton. John a ton. <laughs> uh, I'm always just off the beach. Shouldn't, his name should be Sandy. Man, I, I, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're telling me. What's up, Ash? My name is Chris. I'm 18 years old. <laughs> Dude, like, as they're doing these, like, testimonials, the other dudes are in the background and they're just, like, waiting for their yeah, time like, to, like, oh, speak. What, do I, what am I going to say? Do you know, imagine being, like... Yeah, so I'm Curtis. I love, uh, I love riding my horse. I love uh, picking hay. <laughs> the guy who's filming is, like, Buddy, can you what? move a little bit? <laughs> and he's just like, sorry. <laughs> you remember in like gr like grade school, kids in the class would do a paragraph at a time, and you'd be like, you'd be like looking to see what paragraph is yours, and you'd be like, 
I don't want to fuck it up. I don't want to fuck it up. This is my turn coming up next. This is the same thing, but with bass. My name is Chris. Nice to meet you, Ash. I'm 19 years old. Uh, fun fact about me, uh, I can play the piano. I met Kim Kardashian. And... That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That's all I need to know about I me, dude. I can play the piano. And I met Kim Kardashian. I bet you went, Kim! Kim! And like, yeah, she yeah, made yeah. eye contact with you and she and, and then and then you were like, met her. I met her. <laughs> she I probably, fucking met her. I met her. probably met your gaze and you were like, I met that person. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Meeting. Nice. Hey, Ashley. I'm a model and my name is Omar Sultan. You say you're a model before your name? <laughs> wow. Fuck you. Yeah, holy shit, dude. I'm a model? I'm a <laughs> when you know that she keeps sucking. Oh, are you a model? In Arabic, Sultan means prince, and I'm here to meet my princess. You're here to meet my princess, dude. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm a model, bitch. I bet during the shoot, two of the guys were just like, yo, what the f What's her name again? Oh, well, yep. So many times. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what's her name again? Yeah, what's her Cool, thank you, bro. By the way, I'm Brendan. <laughs> yeah. What's All right. Name? Do you want to chill after this? Yo, I met Kim Kardashian. Yo, if this doesn't work out for us, do you want to chill after <laughs> Hi, Ashley. My name is Alex. Uh, I'm 17. Uh, I'm from uh, Ridgewood, New Jersey, and I strive to become an Air Force pilot one day. Hey Ashley, I'm Gabriel, I'm 19 years old. I was born and raised in New York City. Seventeen Magazine, you can't go from sh showing us a fresh-faced boy to this guy who has yeah. a beard and a mustache. Like, yeah. what ages are we going for Yeah. Here? Yeah, that's the thing I wanted to say. Like, the, the girl who's, I guess, I don't really know the whole thing, because like, when I was in high school, I guess there was a time where I was 18 and my girlfriend was 17. The girl is 17 who's like finding a bay. And there's one guy who's 15, and then there's also another guy who's 20. Also, the girl who's looking for a bae is 17. Her sister's 15. I would never let a fucking 15-year-old yeah. choose my significant other. Right. Because they would choose... Kids. They're kids. They would choose stickers. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just very weird to me that, like, if you were a 20-year-old standing there and, like, two bays down, there was a 15-year-old, you'd just be like... I, what am I, what am I really, fucking doing this here? This is exactly what I would do. If I were yeah. 20 and I looked down, I'm like, oh, this motherfucker's 15. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, oh, what am I doing? Am I supposed to chill with these guys after this? <laughs> Hi, Ashley. I'm Jordan. I'm 20. Jordan's a beauty. Hi, Ashley. I'm Jordan. I literally just, just woke, woke up. up. <laughs> <laughs> I love <laughs> sleep. <laughs> Dude, if I can zoom out, he's, he zooms out, he's in like silk pajamas. My name's Jordan, I fucking love sleeping. <laughs> I was born in New York City and I like going to fun events and my goals are to be a cinematographer and I love to hear your goals. Good job, flip the script, make it about her. Nice. Keys to the VIP judge over here, dude. Hi Ashley, my name's Brendan. Uh, I like to act, sing, and dance and a fun fact about me is I've been dancing since I was about three years old. <laughs> you sweetheart. <laughs> he's been dancing since he was three. Literally, he can't stop. It's a medical issue. He either couldn't. Yo, hurt. Brendan. <laughs> What's up, guys? Yo, dude. I can't stop. Yo, I've been doing this since I was fucking three, dude. Fuck, man. I don't know. I'm going on like 20 years. <laughs> um, I'm tired. Super <laughs> tired. He looks like every time he sees a wall, he's like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trying to punch a hole in it. Because white guys. Punch holes in walls. White historically, guy, white guys punch holes in walls. <laughs> That's literally our. Because if there isn't a PS4 controller around <laughs> to throw, there's a hole. The in wall. wall is getting. <sighs> Sounded like a fart. It wasn't a fart. It was the door stopper. Dean just pooed. It was the door stopper. I didn't fart. <laughs> I didn't. Everybody has a really interesting story, so I would love to hear um, more from them. Everyone. Everyone has a really interesting story. I'm really excited to meet everybody. Let's get this going. The director was like, "You want to." Give a little bit more. Wanna punch it up a little bit? <laughs> no, nah, we're good. Sweetheart, love's on the line. Wanna punch <laughs> it up a little bit? <laughs> I trust my sister completely. Um, I think she's gonna get someone fantastic for me. Um, and I don't think she's gonna like mess it up. I don't think she's gonna fuck it up at all. Cause I think it would really mess up my whole life if she did and I would hate her forever. So I hope she does well, right? Yeah, chill. Like, hey, hey do you I'm, trust me or yeah, not? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you don't. I'm not a great fan of movies, but I've, if I have someone's hand to hold, not a fan of movies. Did he say I'm not a great fan of movies? <laughs> well, he's a fan of movies, but he's not that very good at being a fan of movies. Great fan. <laughs> I think horror movies are great. Um, I love the feeling that they give you, but honestly, any movie is good. <laughs> Look at how stoked he is on his answer. <laughs> yeah. He's I like, I fucking, got I fucking got in the bag, dude. <laughs> he just goes, <laughs> yeah, I love horror movies. I think it could be like a fun, cozy night to watch them and then like prank each other after. Dude, hey, dude, it... did you just come back from skydiving? Like... <laughs> 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 this guy, how'd you get here? Jumped out of a plane, dude! dude he, <laughs> he turns around, he has like a fucking parachute. 
opened in the back. Oh my god. <laughs> he crashed into the studio. <laughs> you wonder why the lighting's so good? I fucking broke a hole through the ceiling here. I, you know what I mean? I, I was gonna love... I was gonna drive my car, but I was like, nah, fuck it. I'll I sky drive, that. But I just love jumping out of planes. <laughs> so Ashley actually hates horror movies, will never watch one. She's probably only seen one in her entire life. So if you said yes, then you're just completely wrong. <laughs> This is the shit that I have a problem with. Wait, like though, I, as the second they disagree on anything, then then they leave. They're out of the running. That's the first. What? Isn't that insane? <laughs> all the people that said, "Yeah, I like horror movies." So that gone. guy's just literally. I'd be like, "So I'm done. I'm like, done. I go home now. That's I got all you want to hear about me. I fucking skydove. I fucking sky. Is that it? I'm skydove. <laughs> like prime example. Um, my my girlfriend Jenna. She hates horror movies, but I love horror movies. We've been together for five years. We're very happy. You can work around you can anything. Work, you can work down. You if can work around that. If you're two kind-hearted people and you really do love each other, you can compromise on anything. And yeah, now, it's very weird. And now this is when she just gets to be like, no, they ask who, who am I missing out on? And she sees them walk away and she's like, yeah. oh my God. Yeah. Okay, so what are your favorite types of music? Uh, I'm Latino, so I like, you know, a little salsa, you know, let me in a little Brazilian music. I like, you know, movies a lot, so I like, you know, beautiful soundtracks, like the parts of Caribbean, you know, soundtrack. And I'm dun 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 you know, I find that really cool. Jo Jonathan's great. I love Jonathan. I feel like he's just so himself, you know? Yeah, that's of course. great. I, I don't think he's putting on a show. He's, and that's great. Um, I listen to a lot of jazz, a lot of beautiful music. To be quite honest, whatever's on the radio in the car, that's what I'm listening to. I'm going to school or work. This motherfucker is the most boring dude in the world. I'm not. A, I don't like movies. Uh, when it comes to music, it's pretty much whatever's on the radio. I don't give a shit. Could be fucking talk news. Could be talk radio. I'm still like trying. I'm still like shit. trying my best to like really develop a personality. Yeah, it's so funny to think that he's so aware of that too. Of his that he's no one's have ever asked me anything about <laughs> myself ever ever. So Ashley likes pop music. Her favorite group is the Chainsmokers. And... <laughs> Dude, yo, I didn't think. People actually liked the Chainsmokers as a group. Okay? I thought that I thought that they were always just like within the lineup of a festival, and people were like, "Yeah, we'll go." People were like, "Okay, that's yeah, cool. I, guess I don't know. They're I, gonna be there. I think they have a song." <laughs> I know I said like you know one thing can't really make or break a relationship, but if you meet someone and their favorite group is the Chainsmokers, dude, fucking <laughs> hightail it out of there, my guy. You're done, dude. I would rather chain smoke every <laughs> cigarette in the world than listen to a full life Chainsmokers. <laughs> gets kicked off because he likes jazz. Yes, like, holy shit. Dude, you know, in his head, he's like, I literally have the best taste in music here. Yeah, and I know I do. And I know I do. And you could tell by his shirt. It's just like, his button, 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 ready to go on a dating show. So what would be your dream date? Dream date? Well, a dream date would definitely be with Ashley. As long as if it's with, with Ashley. God, you're uh, you're hot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like if she likes like a certain type of food, I'll definitely like to check out that restaurant. I like uh, restaurants that have live music. I also like you know to take a walk at a park. You know what I mean? Check out you know like a movie. I, I, Dude, I, yeah. I can't make fun of him. <laughs> no, that was that, that was, was awesome. awesome. Yeah. Like it really sounds like it really sounds like he knows what he wants and yeah. he's you know open minded. He's a perfect candidate for her. Give me his fucking number, dude. Uh, I'm a very high energy person. Yeah, could have really... fucking fooled me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> really seems like it, buddy. I'm a pretty high energy person. Energy. <laughs> <laughs> so energetic. Ashley actually said Disneyland, so you would be the winner for that one. So I would say the beach was kind of not what she would want to do. Fuck See you, dude! You, please, bitch. Fuck you! <laughs> So Ashley is kind of short, so she would need someone that's like over five foot. So what are your heights? I hope all these guys are under five feet. Fucking short kids. <laughs> yeah, but you know, if she needs even me to be taller, I just wear heels. <laughs> five, seven and a half, probably. Probably wear boots. I need to be taller. Like I got my Tims. Whoa. <laughs> Dead ass? He just stole fucking Jonathan's answer. Jonathan said, oh, if I want to be taller, I'll wear heels. And he was like, oh, yeah, me too. If I'm going to be taller, I'll wear boots. My, I got my tins. You guys are all tall enough, so you get to stay this time. Is this a girlfriend or a fucking roller coaster, dude? <laughs> you must be this tall. <laughs> Would you rather go to a concert or a play? I love both. Um, you know, I'm into theater, so I, I like acting at a play. But I think I would say more concerts, depending on the band. I mean, if it was Chainsmokers, you know. I'll definitely be down to it. Uh, I don't really like 
crowded places that much, so I would definitely say a play. So Ashley actually chose a concert for this one. Jonathan's reaction. He was so I, He's stoked. <laughs> he's got the best energy. Yeah, I hope he wins. I feel like it's unfortunate. I think a relationship where both the people are exactly alike gets boring. RJ fucking hit a nail on the head, dude. He just said what we were fucking saying before. RJ. I'll miss you, buddy. Oh, Emma. You can call me. Oh my God, he on X Games mode. So me and my sister are Instagrammers and influencers and we make content for apps. So would you be supportive because that takes over our entire, almost all of our day. So what would you say? Good relationships are relationships that both people support each other and support each other's dreams. So I'll definitely support your dream. Completely agree. Uh, it's all about support. Uh, but I also think there's a certain balance you need to find with spending time with the person and then supporting what they like. And you could also like support them while you, like, you could do it with them and spend time with them while you support them. I liked his answer a lot more because I liked the fact that you guys would make it together and kind of like work together and it wouldn't be just like... Yeah, like your own thing. Man, fuck this. I'm pissed off. <laughs> Almost happened, but, you know, I'm sure I'll find somebody one day. Oh man, man that's kind of sad. Yeah. <laughs> Winning Bay. Mm-mm. Wow. Says who? The most wonderbred fucking dude you had to pick, huh? Emma definitely did a good job. Um, I definitely he has such a bubbly personality, which is really gonna go well because I'm also an extrovert. You're an extrovert, yeah. right? Not an introvert. Um, and we both um, said the first date would be Disneyland. So Disney World or Disneyland, we're not sure yet. Oh. But, um, She's shorter than me, which is good because I'm not super tall, so it's nice when girls are shorter than me. Balance. Yeah. <laughs> my bestie did pick my bag. <laughs> she really did, and I'm super excited. Um, and I'm so grateful that my um, bestie knows me so well. I thought Jordan was really cute, and I was sad like when I saw like him leave I was like Jordan come back where are you going I wish Jordan got like a free pass like an extra like he got like an extra round of like you can stay because you're just so cute this is after everything right what if fucking Brendan is off camera and heard all this she's with him and then she's like this other guy that I'm not with he was hot as fuck so much hotter than this fucking guy that's basically what she's saying I think that he was perfect for Ashley because he has the same personality they're both really outgoing dude just cuz he goes like this doesn't mean he has a bubbly personality <laughs> Either, like, every time they're kind of mentioning the fact that like he's like really like uh, extroverted and like you know yeah fun he just go you just see a shot of him like this Okay. I, I mean, so. I kind of want to look at the comments. I felt bad for the guy that got sent away because he likes jazz music. Yep. I said that. Nobody cares if you met Kim Kardashian, LMAO. Yeah. Oh, okay, this is great. Biggest waste of 15 minutes of my life. Okay, so the consensus is that this is very bad, which makes me feel good because for a second I was like, are we just douchebags? But the comments are basically like, yeah, this is stupid and it shouldn't be a thing. Like my biggest issue like my biggest issues, I guess, was the, um, I mean, the ages were just kind of weird to me. That whole thing is very strange. I don't agree with that. There's this whole thing about like, just ha liking the same shit. Yeah, like you can have right. things in common. Um, For sure. But it's really interesting to find out things that you didn't like because yeah. you met someone who likes things that you don't like. You know what I mean? You trade, you just yeah. kind of, you know what I mean? Human interaction. Opposites attract. What would you, uh, what would you rate this video? Um, I would give it probably, um, man, like a two out of ten. It would have been a one, but Jonathan made it a two. He's great. I love him. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I definitely um, Jonathan, agree. if you're watching this, great job. You're going to find your you salsa will. queen one day. You will. I think that'll, that'll do it. That'll do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. One like equals one. Uh, smooch. <laughs> yeah, one like equals one smooch. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know your thought. Let me know if you want to see more vids with uh, with Diener over here. Um, if not, let me know. Tell him because he's fucking bubbly as shit. Yeah, look dude. how bubbly I am, guys. Also, press subscribe button because I make a video every single week and there's so much fun. And you also get an extra greeting at the beginning of every video, dude. It's so good. It's so good and fun. Get, Get your it. fucking merch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, buy my shit. Oh yeah, check the description for my social media, my Instagram, my Twitter. Dean also has a podcast called The Clean Hamster Podcast. You should listen to it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, links to my merch. New Curtis Town merch. It's out. Fucking grab it. It's sick. We got this stuff. We got the new Yee Yee stuff. We got a bunch of good, sh good crap. This has been Curtis and Dean <laughs> being mean. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we got to go give 
Jonathan a big hug. Yeah, bye. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you wanna see more from me, then click on the screen here. And then that's it, dude. Peace out. Control, alt, delete. <laughs> Ram. <laughs>